Well, all right. Free costumes that you can unlock. But here's a sneak peek at something, guys. To get the Elite Mako, you only have to do all of the Borg STOs. Infected, Cure, and Kittimer on Elite and Advance and get all of your optionals. And the difference is the shoulder pads. When you see somebody with the shoulder pads that are pointed up, that means they've completed all their optionals. So you no longer have to do the elite runs to be able to get this uniform. Also, just a quick look ahead at a couple of the unlocks that you get through reputation, you know. Just wanted to show you that before we get into the video. There's plenty of free outfits in the game. You don't have to grind for them or open up like lock boxes. You mix and match pieces to make it look hot. This one you get for totally free. All right. And even some of the armor unlocks. This is the Wrath of Khan. This is the Iconian armor. It gives you this outfit. When you finish the Lucari storyline, you get this outfit. Now let's get right to this video. Because each one of the holdings has an outfit for you. I try to cut out as much as the fluff as possible. And just get right to it. So the first one we're going to start off on is right here at your fleet starbase. Remember when you buy the Odyssey you get two outfits. And at the fleet starbase you can get the other two Odyssey outfits. They just cost dilithium and a little grind. And you got to figure out what kind of jacket it is to put it on. But these are the unlocks. The blue one is the standard Odyssey. The two dress uniforms come with the Odyssey bundle. And then the ones that you can buy from the fleet. Well, that was it. Alright, the next one I'm going to show you is from your colony world. This is why fleets are so dope. Because there's a whole bunch of little goodies and free stuff on there. You know? So when you come up to your colony world, you're going to get that little Lucari thing that swings around your neck. And it's only a shirt. So you got to figure out the pants and the shoes that look good. But just to give you a taste... Alright, so this is the full Lucari uniform. Some of these come with headpieces. This one does not. And some of the headpieces are only for certain races, like Jem'Hadar gets kiboshed. And all these outfits are available for KDF, for Romulan. Just like I said, the headpieces might be missing on some of them. But, you know, you fleet. Is the best place to get outfits. And by mixing and matching pieces. You get some pretty dope outfits out of here. There's actually two here. And we're going to check out both of them real quick. Let's go into the tailor. And boom. This is the first one. For the K-13. And this is the second K-13, which I prefer with a black t-shirt. And you can put any shoes that you want on this. I just think the Tellarite ones look nice. The next holding we're going to head to is the Fleet Spire. Now, if you bought the Delta Pack, you have the long jacket. And this one purchase will unlock 
three other jackets. Let's take a look at this real quick. Who says this is not a free to play game, right? There's the Dyson Spear. Now these are all the outfits that you unlocked. Those three. That one you get with the pack. But these three on top. I like that one. Personally. So let's work with this one. I'm going to throw on the Dyson pants real quick. You can go through each and every one to see if there's an accessory piece for it. Usually there's not. And it's rare that a shoes. There's the Dyson ones. Now I don't know who came up with this mix and match stuff, but you can adjust the colors accordingly most of the time. There they are. I just don't like them that color. But like I said, you can most of the time Adjust the colors of the outfit to the colors you like. The next one is on the dilithium mine if you want more of that roughneck look. And we'll take a quick look at what's there. Because there's a couple pieces that eh, don't really look good on my female character here. She's tearing to begin with. She gave me a really hard time about changing her clothes for you guys. So don't forget to drop that like, comment, and subscribe. Consider becoming a channel member too. So there's the top piece. We got short sleeves on. But once we put the miner's gloves on and the wristbands, to me, it doesn't look quite right. And you gotta play with the color too here. If not, it looks like it's used. So let's get the long sleeves on her. I gotta tell you, I actually run this outfit on one of my guys, but it's a dude and he's brolic. So the short sleeve looks good. Did you see how if you play with the colors, you can get things going the right way? Shoot, I remember in Star Wars The Old Republic, if you want to change your hair piece, you had to pay extra. Here it's free. This is just a little bit of dilithium that you can get in a day. And you got a brand new outfit. Yeah, don't know if I'm going to put a backpack or anything on her. This is probably where I spent the most making this video. I didn't want to cut this part out either because you get to see how you can actually mix and match parts.
Now the pants aren't there because of course it's a minor. Now I don't know too many minors that wear super baggy stuff, so yeah. And there you go with minor's uniform. Now you can put this other stuff on like the belt on the hip, the hip guards, so you don't burn yourself with that mining laser. But the hip guards are, yeah, unless your character's really brolic and built, they look funny. So I'm just gonna take them off right before we go to the fleet embassy. Now at the tailor at the embassy, you're going to buy these robes. And those are actually the Romulan robes. Okay. And they're not in off-duty either. So. Oh yeah. They are in off-duty actually. If you want to make yourself look like Datan or another dignitary. This is the place to come. There's two styles for it. Because if you don't come here. You can't put on the full Ennis uniform. Even though you get the shoulder pads and the headpiece. And the wristbands from the storyline, you have to come to the embassy to actually unlock the entire outfit. So after the Romulan one, we're just going to peep the Ennis one real quick. And it's very Little House on the Prairies to me. That's how I saw it. So you got Vedic robes, of course. And let's match the top with the bottom and boom. She's banging. Now the other one at the Fleet Embassy is the entire Ennis uniform. So yeah, if you're a refugee, you want to dress your character like a refugee. Here we go. Tell me that she doesn't look like she should be carrying water up to the house or something. And you're very limited on the color palette too. So yeah. Now the fleet research lab is a cute one. So what you're going to pick up at the research lab is the Krenum uniform. And the Krenum uniform is one of those that I like to mix and match. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. This video will be completely time coded. If you want to go back and forth and look at the uniforms or where I got them from off the list. Here we go. Krenum 1, 2, and 3. Now that's for the different ranks of Krenum. I really wish they would have put like Captain, Admiral, Lieutenant, but they didn't. They just listed it as 1, 2, and 3. Kind of looks cute with the skirt, even though the skirt's a different color. And anytime you go to event, the vendor, go through each and every one to see if you're missing out on something. All right, so we know the Krenum didn't wear loose pants. Let's see tight. They didn't wear tight either. High tucked. But dang. So yeah, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tour of the free outfits you can get in-game. 
And it doesn't matter your level as long as you're a part of a fleet. You have access to all of this. And like I said, smash that subscribe button for me. Like, join the Discord. We got amazing, amazing members. Peace out, y'all.